guys, today we're playing how it's actually made of cake sprinkles. Yep, and another one being the number titled. Believe it or not, cake sprinkles have been around since the late 18th century, when French confectioners used them as decorations. Chocolate sprinkles are believed to be invented in 1936 by a Dutchman responding to a little boy's request for a chocolate bread topping. British people stupidly call sprinkles hundreds and thousands, because their dumb nomenclature doesn't bother accounting for if there are less than 100 sprinkles at any given time. Huh. But that's at least not as bad as people who call sprinkles jimmies. Jimmies? Who the heck is Jimmy? And what business does he have getting his grubby mitts on my cupcake toppings? Huh! Cake sprinkles come in a variety of colors, as well as pink. They're found decorating many treats from cupcakes to cookies to dessert hot dogs. Ew! They can quickly- Dessert hot dogs? Hey, Mama. What is dessert hot dogs? Oh, I have to ask Google, not you. What is a dessert hot dog? Sorry, I don't understand. What the fuck do you mean you don't understand? We turn a bland, mediocre dessert into one with six times the sugar content. A variety of liquid and powdered narcotics are among the ingredients used to make these dessert decorations. Fat chips are also an ingredient. A worker adds a tiny plastic bucket's worth of fat chips to the mixing tank, which is the standard unit of measurement for sprinkle creation. The mixing tank also doubles as a koi fish pond. The koi fish have been removed as they are pre-diabetic. Meanwhile, Strong Marcus adds powdered sugar to a dry mixer, roughly 19 tiny plastic buckets. Different colorants are added, such as this one made from pomegranate, this one made of liquid black, and this one that's pure melted additives. This badge will turn into whatever the fuck color this is. Whatever the hell color that is, that's brown! What do you mean, whatever the color that is? During filming, the factory sewer line accidentally broke, which was captured by our cameras on film. This badge was ruined and promptly scrapped for a new one. Please ignore the fact that the ruined badge is being placed into the mixer. The factory's legal department has pinky promised us that they didn't use the tainted badge. Later, the mixer is open to reveal the factory has accidentally made bubble gum again, instead of sprinkles, which is a colossal fuck up. Yup! <laughs> a colossal fuck up! Jeffy said that it. <laughs> and Mr. Foreman. <laughs> Colossal fuck up. The workers are punished with forced labor in the bubblegum mines until they can harvest enough materials for another batch of sprinkles. What? What? What is. What? Who the While the pink spaghetti is ready, a favorite dish of sprinkle slaves who haven't seen their families in so long that they've forgotten what a home cooked meal is due to continually being locked in the bubblegum mines. Well, Mama, what they made the sprinkles pink and not every other color, so the workers are punishment for staying in the bubblegum sprinkles for another day as labor. Is that or whatever the hell? To keep the consistency of the sprinkles from collapsing, the factory is kept at the optimal temperature of 103 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 43 tiny plastic buckets. Strong Marcus has had enough of this shit. 
padding off of this. The spaghetti falls into a holding bag, where Peter is given his designated 30 seconds where he's allowed to touch the product, lest to become greedy and consume with touch envy. The pink spaghetti, which has actually been colored in flavored dough this whole time, haha, I got you, moves to a tumbler to break the strands into tiny pieces. A worker pulls out samples by hand to inspect their quality and coloring. This is the absolute limit to which the sprinkles should be touched. A nozzle sprays a mixture of confectioner's glaze and edible wax to the- Oh my god, Peter, stop. Peter, stop. You've already touched the sprinkles earlier, Peter. For the love of god, stop. You're gonna compromise the batch. Someone help? Peter's violating company regulations. Help? The sprinkles are moved from help? the tumbler into a machine help? that simulates a typical day in San Francisco. These conditions are perfect to help sort the sprinkles by the correct size. They're being shaked into a ball? <laughs> They're on an earthquake! These sprinkles here were designated for people who are colorblind. Colorblind? I'm not colorblind, those As are you pink. As see, they come in white, pink, brown, yellow, brown, brown, bluish brown, and mystery color. No, that's white, pink, green, yellow, red, orange, blue, and black. All the shades of brown are mixed together to create a badge to be sent to an optometrist office. Looks fat. The sprinkles. Peter, Peter, no! Why? No, Peter! Why, Peter? Why? Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. No, you're Once not. Once the sprinkles have been mixed, it's onto the sprinkle filling machine, which uses a jet of air to rinse the inside of the bottles with the different sprinkles. Then it's on the capping machine, which we all wish was just more footage of the filling machine. Then it's off to the labeling area, where various warnings about how much the sprinkles have been fondled are applied to the bottle. Here's a fun sprinkle game you can play at home. There's an image of a penis hidden in this pile of sprinkles. An image of a penis? Why? Why do you put an image of a penis in there? Sprinkle game you can play at home. There's an image of a penis hidden in this pile of sprinkles. Leave a comment below saying which color sprinkles it's made out of. Whoa! 